Welcome to Health Management Information Systems, Health Information Systems Overview. This is Lecture B. This lecture examines the challenges presented by emerging trends in information technology. For example, mobility, web services, the internet, intranet, and wireless computing, social media, and global communications and discusses the advantages and disadvantages of using the Internet as a platform for healthcare applications. The objectives for this lecture are to examine the challenges presented by emerging trends in information technology, social media, and global communications, and discuss the advantages and disadvantages of using the Internet as a platform for healthcare applications. The United States Department of Health and Human Services made several points regarding how advances in consumer health informatics are changing the delivery of health information and services, in particular the following. The convergence of media and emergence of the Internet create a nearly ubiquitous networked communication infrastructure. This infrastructure facilitates access to an increasing array of health information and health-related support services and extends the reach of health communication efforts. Delivery channels, such as the Internet, expand the choices available for health professionals to reach patients and consumers and for patients and consumers to interact with health professionals and with each other, for example, in online support groups. Some trends in information technology that are creating challenges for healthcare organizations include cloud-based technology, interoperability, mobile technology, IT security, social media, and teletechnology. Definitions for the first four are provided followed by a discussion of how social media is being used in healthcare and the effect of cloud-based technology, after which the challenges will be discussed. Cloud-based technology is a type of internet-based computing where data and services are delivered via the internet, typically over a secure connection. AMIA 2013. Securing the information technology for all organizations has become more critical, particularly with the advent of threats such as spyware, computer viruses, malicious hackers, and ransomware. AMIA defines interoperability as the ability for systems to exchange data and operate in a coordinated, seamless manner. Exchanging information and aggregating it with other data sources can be quite useful, but also very difficult without sound standards. Kaplan and Hanlin define social media as a group of internet-based applications that build on the ideological and technological foundations of Web 2.0, which allows the creation and exchange of user-generated content. While not originally created with healthcare in mind, today these media are seen as valuable healthcare tools. They are used in the healthcare environment for a variety of purposes, including, for example, the use of a social network, such as Patients Like Me, where individuals connect with others who have a specific disorder. Some media are used by healthcare providers to provide information to their patients. For example, Mayo Clinic uses both blogs and podcasts to discuss diseases, conditions, and treatments. Healthcare organizations may use social media to assist patients in making informed choices and to build or maintain reputation in the marketplace. Photo videos such as those found on YouTube are popular. Mayo Clinic has a Mayo Clinic channel where multiple YouTube videos are available for viewing. The legitimacy of social media has increased as well. Respected healthcare organizations such as Mayo Clinic and governmental agencies such as the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, have established social media centers. For example, CDC 2011 uses social media to provide users with access to credible, science-based health information when, where, and how you want it. Cloud technology has rapidly become a reliable and cost-effective means of implementing systems that typically were much more expensive and labor-intensive to deploy. The example of Google Docs is interesting. The tools for editing and creating documents are included, as well as the space to store the data. The cost of software, hardware, and maintenance are all included. 
By offering Google Docs as a cloud service, it is simple to access documents from many devices and locations and even to simply share documents between multiple users. Cloud technology is used for many other products such as email, social media, and electronic health records. Electronic health records provided over cloud technology offer significant advantages, but also some concerns that need to be addressed. Costs are typically much lower, including initial cost and ongoing maintenance and support costs. Performance may suffer somewhat, and security needs to be carefully considered. Further, it is important that the data be stored only in the country of origin to avoid violation of privacy laws. Data ownership and transfer of data upon end of contract will also need to be carefully considered. Having described various trends in information technology, what challenges do these technologies and media present? They include privacy and security concerns, liability risk, lack of law or legislation governing the boundaries, lack of payment for engagement, lack of frequent updates, and resistance by healthcare providers. While the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, or HIPAA, contains privacy and security requirements, it does not contain guidelines regarding the transmission of personal health information over the Internet. However, Subtitle D of the Health Information Technology for Economic and Clinical Health Act, High Tech Act, enacted as part of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, ARRA, of 2009, address the privacy and security concerns associated with the electronic transmission of health information. Even so, privacy and security issues are still not a part of HIPAA and remain a challenge for healthcare providers wishing to use the emerging IT trends. Other challenges include the risk of liability, especially with relation to what constitutes medical advice, which goes hand in hand with the lack of law or legislation governing designated boundaries for these emerging electronic device or communication technology tools. Healthcare providers have been reluctant to use emerging electronic device or communication technology tools in their practices due to the lack of payment for their time and effort. The American College of Physicians has worked toward overcoming these objections through publications such as Policy Recommendations to Guide the Use of Telemedicine in Primary Care Settings, which outlines specific steps that can be taken to embrace technology. Not all website data may be updated in a timely manner to reflect advances in clinical care. Websites need to be reviewed and revised regularly or consumers can receive out-of-date information. Finally, healthcare providers may be reluctant to get on board with some of these technologies due to wariness regarding their usefulness. There is also concern over the potential replacement of some person-to-person -person interactions and a danger of losing essential benefits of the doctor-patient relationship which include appreciation of a patient's needs and personal preferences. Let's take a closer look at the Internet as a platform for healthcare applications. The Internet is the vehicle for cloud-based technology, social media, and interoperability. According to HHS, significantly, there are indicators that Internet access is growing in every segment of the population and that many of these segments are ready to think about new uses of the Internet and other digital technologies for health. Just how is the Internet affecting health care? Some examples are, there is increased use of the Internet to find out information about health care providers and treatment options, opportunities to select information based on their personal interests and preferences. The sponsoring organization provides consumers with tools to develop and maintain their own personal health records, or PHRs. Secure email exchange is possible between consumers and healthcare providers, and increased marketing sophistication results in accessibility of healthcare products for purchase. So, what advantages does the Internet offer as a platform for healthcare applications? Five are listed on this slide and include that implementations are more cost-effective and can be deployed quickly, there is little or no need for IT support, the Internet is designed for sharing, and it is a better technology for mobile computing. For example, some more recent trends of cloud computing and software as a service, both of which have associations with the Internet. Mel and Grants define cloud computing as a model for enabling convenient on-demand network access 
to a shared pool of configurable computing resources. For example, networks, servers, storage, applications, and services that can be rapidly provisioned and released with minimal management effort or service provider interaction. One of the service models described by Mel and Grants is Cloud Software as a Service, SaaS. With this model, the capability provided to the consumer is to use the provider's applications running on a cloud infrastructure. The applications are accessible from various client devices through a thin client interface such as a web browser, for example, web-based email. The consumer does not manage or control the underlying cloud infrastructure, including network, servers, operating systems, storage, or even individual application capabilities, with the possible exception of limited user-specific application configuration settings. With SaaS, a healthcare provider would license an application through a subscription, thereby paying for only what is needed. Deployment would be quicker since there is no need to install and run the application on the provider's hardware. IT support is diminished or eliminated as all ongoing support, maintenance, and upgrades are provided by the vendor as part of the service. Connectivity with many stakeholders is easier and access via any internet connection, including a tablet or smartphone, such as an iPhone or Android, is possible. There are, however, disadvantages to using the Internet as a platform for healthcare applications. These include the problems associated with keeping personal health information private and secure, as well as scalability. As was previously mentioned, while HIPAA contains privacy and security requirements, it does not contain guidelines regarding the transmission of personal health information over the Internet. However, Subtitle D of the High Tech Act enacted as part of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009, address the privacy and security concerns associated with the electronic transmission of health information. Even so, privacy and security issues are still not a part of HIPAA and remain a challenge for healthcare providers. To be scalable means the system is able to grow with the increase in number of users, volume of data, etc. Thus, Healthcare providers who use cloud computing services are dependent upon the vendor to scale as necessary. The application must not only handle the current base, but it must also keep pace with the growth of that base. If the vendor is slow to add computer and personnel resources, then performance degradation is likely to occur. This concludes Health Information Systems Overview. This unit defined an information system and its characteristics, identified the types of information systems that support the healthcare enterprise requirements, and described the various types of technologies that support healthcare information systems. The unit also described some challenges with the use of emerging information technology trends. These included concerns with privacy and security, risk of liability, lack of law or legislation governing the boundaries, lack of payment for engagement, and resistance by healthcare providers. The advantages and disadvantages of the Internet as a platform for healthcare applications were also discussed.